and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 12th, 2020. Well, today, when it comes to the Stimulus Package and the Republicans and Democrats, well, they're actually getting closer and making a deal. They're not really fighting over money cost. They're actually fighting over semantics, basically what it is. But they still have a lot to iron out. I will tell you the most recent developments of the second stimulus check and stimulus package to leave you, to basically save you some time. The second presidential debate that was scheduled for the 15th was canceled because Trump didn't want to do a virtual debate. He says it's a waste of his time. He doesn't want to do a glorified conference call, basically. So that's what he thinks a virtual debate is because no one wants to go around the president with COVID. <laughs> I don't blame him. Nancy Pelosi said she wanted to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove the president, but the House Majority Leader, Democratic Congressman Hoyer, has not scheduled a vote, so we basically think that Nancy Pelosi is bluffing. Let's begin with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update. Here's where we left off. Both Republicans and Democrats agree on basically uh, the second stimulus checks, but they don't agree on price because they said we, they still have a $1.8 trillion offer out there from the White House, and then there's also Pelosi's $2.2 trillion offer. Okay, let's see here. Actually, covered. The Republicans don't want to increase the cost because they don't want to basically make put America in, America in deeper debt than it already is. Because they said it's basically going to come back and hurt us in the long run. The Democrats say the extra four hundred billion dollars is justified because we're in a in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> we're actually past the middle of the pandemic, but still a good point. I still think it's funny. Okay. Both parties agree to a second stimulus check, more unemployment benefits, a second round of PPP money, helping out renters and people with mortgages, giving money to schools, hospitals, food programs, and more. But here's the, here's the question. If they, agree, if they can agree with all this, why can't they just put all the stuff they agree with in a bill and pass it, and the stuff they don't agree with, work on it later? because people are starving and dying out here and they're fighting over BS, basically. <clears throat> but to answer the question, Nancy Pelosi don't agree with the standalone bill approach. And as you notice, I did not say the House Majority Leader, Democratic Leader, Hoyer, I said Nancy Pelosi the Speaker of the House. She's one, I guess, has a lot more power than the leader does, but she's sitting back doing nothing. <clears throat> Democrats oops, I see I lost my place sorry about that got that covered the, the, uh, if the Democrats or Republicans can't agree on everything in this the whatever this bill or act is called the 1.8 trillion dollar one basically uh, we are going to be left with nothing isn't that nice of them they can leave us with nothing but um here are some of the new developments that the White negotiation, the White House negotiation team actually um, wants to repurpose the leftover stimulus money from the CARES Act. Believe it or not, there is still about $135 billion left over from the CARES Act that they want to repurpose and basically use for to. Uh, Re actually repurpose to make it more PPP money for those businesses that are actually struggling. So, I mean, at first you think $135 billion, that'd be nice for some small stimulus checks to the people, but to tell you the truth, for the real stimulus checks, you need $316 billion, and $135 billion would not work. And I'm also still trying to figure out where President Trump found $300 billion to come up with a second stimulus check in the first place. If you remember, I talked about that I think about a month ago when he actually first came up with the idea and wanted to get congressional approval along that one. Don't know where that went. That just like popped up and disappeared. So that's just that's just a weird one. 
Mnuchin Meadows wrote a letter to the, the House and the Senate requesting them to use the money to help the American, requesting them to release the money so they can use the money to help the American people. But we're, in regards to the current stimulus package, many people are asking, will the Senate Republicans actually agree to the $1.8 trillion package? Well, to address this question, the White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow said on CNN, on said C, on CNN, the Senate Republicans are on board with a 1.8 trillion dollar package. So they're on board with a, a massive package. It's pretty nice to them. The president officially says he supports an even bigger stimulus package than the Democrats' 2.2 trillion dollar package. But, however. It's unlikely that the Senate Republicans would actually support a bigger stimulus package in over $2 trillion. The Democrats want to expand the Affordable Care Act. Well, the Republicans, they are trying to repeal and terminate the CARES Act. The Affordable Care Act. The Republicans are saying that if there's any Republicans that supports the expansion of the Affordable Care Act, it would be basically a betrayal to the Republican Party. I'm trying to figure that one out, how um, basically expanding on the Affordable Care Act and making it more better for the Americans would be a betrayal to the Republican Party when they're supposed to be the ones here who are representing the people as well as the big business, whereas the Democrats are just basically in it for the people in the states. <laughs> so... Go figure that out. I have no idea about that one. That's just that's just a weird one. And I think that's all I have for you today. But until next time, you guys have a great evening. Stay safe and remember we're all in this together. Bye.